Hi, this is Robin from Leapwing Audio, and I'm very excited to show you Dyn1 version 2. Version 2 is something we've been working on for the past year, combining feedback from customers, beta testers, people in the industry, and ourselves using it on a daily basis as well. We came up with a couple of really cool new features. Uh, I also brought a track with me, uh, which is co-written and co-produced by Emiliano from the Leapwing team, uh, and I'll show this, I use this track to show you these new features. The first one I'll talk about is the low latency mode. So let's say you wanted to use Dyn1 in recording, live sound, broadcast. Uh, until this point, the filters we actually use to separate the signal into these five separate bands, they add a specific latency and also a, a CPU load, which is unavoidable if we wanted to get this quality of, of filtering. Um, so we also develop new filters, which are only less than two milliseconds of latency and with less CPU load. So you can switch between these two modes. So if you're in low latency application, you use low latency mode. If you're using it on a master bus or on a mix bus, you use ultra quality. One thing I wanted to point out is if you're using it on individual tracks, such as a vocal or a piano, then this low latency mode works quite well as well. The filters actually sound quite different from each other, uh, but they're actually both nice sounding. It's not that one sounds particularly worse. Uh, but on a master bus, when you really want this tight high end, this really crisp high end, and, and this nice fat low low end, then ultra quality is, is still the way to go. So ultra quality are actually the same filters as you used to in Dyn1 version, version 1. Uh, so that's one new feature. For now, we'll use it in ultra quality. So let's listen to the track and use these faders to make it a bit louder. So one new thing that you'll see is, is there is an input and output LUFS meter. Uh, so it shows uh, loudness instead of the, the previous RMS. And we added a feature which if you cl alt click on the output feeder, you show the difference between the input and the output, which is quite useful if you want to level match the output versus the input. You obviously see this jumping a lot, so it's hard to really get it, but it's it's a very good way of getting it in the ballpark. Still a tiny bit louder, but at least um, you'll kind of get an idea by playing with this. Um, the, the reason it jumps is obviously it's the compression is signal dependent, so it's normal that it's, uh, it won't stay steady. Uh, then another cool new feature is the linking. So previously you ha you either unlinked all the groups or you linked them all together. Uh, now we allow you to take individual faders or multiple faders and put them into separate link groups. So if I'm unlinked and I add this one and this one, these now move together. Or alternatively, let's say I'm all linked, but I just want to move in a single fader individually, I could take it out of the link group by control clicking and then moving this fader up, putting it back in the link group and putting everything up and down. Let me show you that too. That's really nice. Uh, another new feature is soloing a single band if you want to fine tune the compression on that band. Well, one other thing you'll see is that every time you touch a fader, the, the tab that, that follows that band actually um, gets selected. So you can very easily select a band, fine tune the compression, go to the next band. So if I shift click a fader, I actually solo that band. So now I solo the low mid frequency band. I can really change the compression uh, for that specific band and then move on to the next ones. So that's really cool to kind of um, yeah, solo each band separately. Uh, we also have presets now. So there are a couple of very cool presets for bass, drums, also mastering ones that are made by Bobcats. 
so Bobcats gave us his presets. You'll see them with his initials BK, and then the preset. And they're very, they are a very good starting point when you start mixing or mastering. So when you select mastering, tonalization gentle, the faders are down. But when you start playing, all you need to do is move them up. Sounds very good, very musical. Cool. Those are actually uh, some of the main features. Uh, I really hope you'll try them out. Download the trial on the website. Uh, and I hope you hope you like these features. And please stay in touch. Let us know what you think. And uh, have a great day.